so welcome to our video on breaking down camp. We're going to kind of go through some of the steps we go through uh, when we're getting ready to leave camp. First things first, got to try to clean up some of the mess around the trailer, chairs, grills, things of that nature. And then uh, we'll move on to getting the uh, trailer all hooked up. So first tip I would say would be not to back your truck up to your trailer and start connecting all your uh, trailer components until you've got all of your stuff loaded into the back of the truck. The reason being is once that's hooked up, you can't put the tailgate down any longer because the jack gets in the way. Now this is true of a power jack and I assume it would be true of a manual too because it sticks up pretty high. So I would say get all your stuff loaded into your truck first and then we'll back the trailer up and or back the truck up and get everything hooked up. All right, so the next step is going to be to back up the trailer or back up the truck to the trailer hitch ball. And this truck has a automatic uh, backup camera, which kind of can line up pretty much to the ball. The problem is if you don't line up right on the ball, um, you can end up lowering the jack, but you end up not being able to catch it, so that you have to end up redoing it. So I'm going to have Kim back up the truck, and then I will guide her. Um, with hand signals and what have you until we can get it lined up completely and it kind of saves time from going back and forth 20 times trying to get it right. Perfect, only took like five seconds. You're good. I know, it's annoying, that's what I'm telling you. That's why I end up having to do it 10 different times. It's frustrating. The camera shows you it's completely straight on, Right. but it's not. That's the lesson to be learned. Don't just depend on your camera. That's why it's nice to have two people. Okay, so now that we have the uh, truck lined up, to the ball on the trailer, we're gonna go ahead and pull up the stabilizer jacks now before we lower uh, the jack onto the ball. Uh, if you think about it, you wouldn't be able to lower that jack until the stabilizers are up, because right now they're pressing into the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and raise these up, and then at that point, then we can lower the ball and start getting everything else set back up. Okay, so I just made a mistake. Exactly the mistake I said don't to make, or not to make, is one of the uh, jacks, one of the leveling um, stabilizers wasn't up. When I started, I started on the back side and forgot this one on the up front left. And what ended up happening is when I tried to pull the jack up, all the weight was on that stabilizer. Luckily nothing happened, but what ended up happening is the jack starts to raise and then you can end up slamming this down on the ball. Um, so, lesson learned. Anyway, so we'll continue to get this thing down. Hopefully. Just like so. And as you can see, now this can come down and connect. Otherwise, had I not left that little bit of gap between the ball and the hitch, um, we would end up, wouldn't be able to pull this down. It would just get stuck hitting the ball. All right, so then we got our pin lock. I'm gonna lock that bad boy in there, and so we're good to go there. And these little stabilizer bits, I'll leave a link to. Um, they're really good when you need to uh, either level your jack or level the uh, trailer. They're kind of neat because they, they kind of connect like this, and so you can put them different ways so that you can get, if you're unlevel on one side, you can stack them. Luckily, this site that we had was completely level, so we only needed them uh, for the jack, and we didn't have to ride up on them on the wheels, but these are very stable and uh, pretty inexpensive. You get a whole pack, I think maybe 12 of them, uh, so they're a pretty good deal. So we'll get these out of the way, and then we'll move on to the next part. So we're going to plug in to the truck, and we'll test that one before we leave, making sure that all our lights are working, and then we're going to plug in, very important. The emergency brake disconnect. And what this does is if by somehow that trailer ends up connected from the ball, this brake is a trailer brake and it will keep that trailer from taking off, which could be the worst thing ever. Uh, chain wise, what we want to do here is we want to make sure we loop these. And what that does is let's just say that this ball ever did come off, what it's going to do is it's going to catch into these chains. 
So it's very, uh, and, and I'm sure when you buy a trailer, they're gonna tell you this too, make sure you cross your chains. Very important, safety. Safety first, right? All right, so, got all that connected. Now, as you can see here, I got some sway bars, and they are, if you just try to lift them here, it's pretty tough. So what you end up doing is you take some of these, and you're gonna lower that and raise this up. Once everything's hooked up, you raise it up just a touch. It's gonna make it easier to uh, put these sway bars on. Levels out. Otherwise, you're gonna have yourself a nice little hernia yanking on this thing. There we go. Clap that on. And now, you can actually see, it's pretty, still pretty heavy. There we go. Everything's hooked up, ready to go. And what I'll do uh, before we leave, we got a little checklist. Nice thing about this truck too. It only has that backup assist, but it also has a, a checklist in the in the system, which is pretty neat. So we kind of go through that, double check, and make sure that uh, everything's hooked up, all the slides are pulled in, everything's done, so that when you pull away, um, you feel safe knowing that you did everything right. And uh, the driving can be stressful enough. It's nice to know that uh, you've got everything hooked up right. All right, so we're just about finished up. Last thing I'm gonna do here on the outside is uh, remove these chocks from the wheel. And these little X chocks that I got, just take a little ratchet and you just take them off. Like so, pretty simple. These are a nice little tool. It, uh, once they're in there and they're tight, you're not pulling these away. So there's no way anybody's stealing them. And when they're in, they're stable. So they're not moving either. Okay, and then the very last step then is gonna be to unhook your water hose, your filter if you have one. I recommend this if you don't have a filter. Uh, I'll leave a link below on that as well. And some of the other things that we've had to buy. It's almost like a second home. You're buying a lot of, a lot of pieces for this thing. Um, so then we'll disconnect the water electricity. Uh, we're gonna, of course, before we do that, we'll pull on the slide. And at that point, we should be good to go.